So this is a quick review video on how latitude affects climate. Um, so starting off with that, um, by the time you're done with this video, you should be able to define latitude or explain what it is. You should be able to explain how latitude affects climate. And you should be able to identify the three main climate zones. So what is latitude? Uh, if you look here, quick review, um, Basically, latitude is the distance of a place north or south of the equator. So what you see here are lines of latitude, 30 degrees south, south of the equator, 30 degrees north, 6 degrees north, 9 degrees north of the equator. Um, five important lines of latitude. You want to memorize these because they're used to determine climate and climate zones. Uh, you have the equator, which is the sizzling, most hottest part of, well, latitude line of all on the Earth. If you imagine the Earth as a sphere um, of a big, rotund person um, with a belly button kind of like sticking out around the middle, kind of wide, that part is closest to the sun always, and so it is very, very hot near the equator. Um, you have the Tropic of Cancer at 23 and a half degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn at 23 and a half degrees south. The Arctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees north. And then you have the Antarctic Circle at 66 and a half degrees south. So these um, lines of latitude here help dictate climate zones based on how close you are to the equator. So once again, you definitely want to have these memorized, uh, look at them, marinate them, go back to your notebook, whatever kind of source you have, but memorize these actual lines of latitude. Equator, Tropic of Cancer, Arctic Circle, Tropic of Capricorn, Antarctic Circle. Um, I usually, uh, usually if you're going to get anything mixed up, it'll be the Tropic of Cancer with the Tropic of Capricorn. Uh, it helps me personally to actually think of cancer being more important or like deadly so it goes up to the north versus tropic of capricorn which or corn being less important so cancer important to the north less important things to the south in terms of remembering the tropic of cancer and the tropic of capricorn all right so basically how does latitude affect climate um equator sunlight directly overhead. It's simply a matter of which areas receive the most direct sunlight. That's what it all boils down to. Um, equator receives the most direct sunlight, so it is sizzling hot near the equator. But as you go into higher latitudes, you get less direct sunlight, and so it gets colder. Even down to the south, higher latitudes, it gets colder. Always remember, the closer you are to the equator, the more direct sunlight you get, so the hotter it is. The further you are away from the equator, the less direct sunlight you get, so the colder it is. Uh, we have three uh, different uh, climate zones, the polar zone, the tropic zone, and the temperate zone. Let's see some examples of those um, right here. Tropic zone, we have our little uh, descriptions here for it near the equator. Maybe it's desert in that area, maybe tropical rainforest. Take a look at that right there. Um, tropic zone, notice how it's in between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. A lot of direct sunlight right there, tropic zone. Here we have the polar zone, freezing. It gets the most, well, I guess indirect sunlight all year long. Coolest temperatures of all the climate zones, so on and so forth. So we have the polar zone um, right here between the Arctic Circle going to the north and the Antarctic Circle going to the south. We have our polar zones, the most indirect sunlight, very little direct sunlight, so very cold. Temperate zone, love it too, um, uh, receives indirect sunlight but receives more sunlight than the polar zones. Um, so it's not exactly hot like the tropics, but it's not freezing cold like the polar uh, zones. And so in between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer, you have one temperate zone. And then here between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle is another temperate zone just right here. So remember those. That's very, very important. 